Hey everybody, welcome back to Life in Room 27. I'm Miss Robinson and I'm here with another math tutorial for you guys. Today this video is on lesson 2.4 and this is one of my all time favorite math lessons because it takes something that's usually just very difficult for students and it makes it so much easier. This lesson is gonna focus on partial quotients. So we're gonna learn how to divide with a strategy that just makes dividing a little bit easier when you're dealing with a two digit divisor. So we're going to go over a couple of steps or a couple of examples I should say using partial quotients. This is also one of those lessons where for your homework tonight I am requiring that you use this particular strategy to solve your division problems because you will see it in your chapter test um, and so I want to make sure you know how to do it. So I'm going to set myself up with the whiteboard, go over some examples and give you guys some closing thoughts. I'll be right back. So here's our sample problem for partial quotients. Since we're learning this strategy, we are not going to be using that silly saying, does McDonald's sell burgers raw? So before you start, you want to draw a line extending your division house down. This creates a work workspace that you're going to need from the actual problem itself. So we're going to take our divisor and we're going to start by multiplying it by 10. And we're going to subtract the product of our divisor by 10 from our dividend and we're going to keep doing that until we cannot subtract from this anymore. And it's all going to make more sense once we start doing it. So let's go ahead and start by doing 23 times 10. That's a nice mental math problem for me. I know that that is 230. So I'm going to underline this 10 because I'm going to need that a little bit later. And I'm going to subtract 230 from 775. 5 minus 0 is 5. 7 minus 3 is 4. And 7 minus 2 is 5. So I'm left with 545. So I'm going to tell myself, I'm going to multiply 23 times 10 again then. Underline that 10. You know that that's 230. Subtract 230 from that. 5 minus 0 is 5. 4 minus 3 is 1. And 5 minus 2 is 3. I can still keep going. 23 times 10 again. Underline that 10. You know it's 230. Subtract your 230 from 315. 5 minus 0 is 5. We need to regroup here. So this will become 11. That's going to be 2. 11 minus 3 is 8. And 2 minus nothing is, or 2 minus 2 is 0. So we won't put anything there. Now here you get to the point where you realize you cannot multiply 23 times 10 and subtract that product from 85. So I'm going to multiply 23 by something else. And if I just think about estimation, I know when I multiply 20 times 2, that's going to be 40. So I know that multiplying 23 times 2 is going to be pretty safe. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply 23 times 2. I'm going to underline that 2. I know that that's going to be 46. So I'm going to subtract 46 from 85. I'm going to need to regroup there. So this becomes 15. That becomes 7. 15 minus 6 is going to be 9. And then 7 minus 4 is going to be 3. Now again, you can't take 23 and multiply it by 2 and subtract that product out because it would be too high. So I'm going to do 23 times 1. Underline that 1. We know that 23 times 1 is 23. Then we're going to subtract 23 from 39. 9 minus 3 is 6. 3 minus 2 is 1. And I'm left with 16. This is a remainder because 23 cannot be multiplied by anything and equal 16. It's too big of a number. So now I'm going to circle my remainder and I'm going to look at all these numbers that I underlined and I'm going to and I'm going to add them. So this is 10, 20, 30, 32, 33. So that tells me my answer is 33 remainder 16. So I've solved the problem. This is just a strategy that makes that long division problem a little bit easier. But even though we're using partial quotients, we're still going to check our work. So we're going to take our quotient or our answer, which is 33. We're going to multiply that by 23. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 3 is 9. Put your placeholder there because we're now moving to the tens. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 3 is 6. Add 
you have nine. Nine plus six is going to be 15. Six plus one is seven. And you're gonna add that remainder of 16. Nine plus six is 15. Five plus one is six. Plus one is seven. And seven plus nothing is seven. Smiley face, because that matches my dividend, so I know I'm correct. Let's do one more example with partial quotients and then we'll wrap it up. On this problem, we're gonna deal with a bigger number. We're gonna take 1,450 and we're gonna divide that by 32. We're not gonna do our silly saying because we're working with partial quotients, but we are gonna create a workspace for ourselves by drawing that line. I'm gonna start with multiplying my divisor 32 by 10. So 32 times 10. I know that that's gonna be 320. I'm gonna go ahead and subtract 320 from 1,450. Zero minus zero is zero. Five minus two is three. And four minus three is going to be one. And one minus nothing is one. I'm gonna keep multiplying. 32 times 10, underline that 10. I forgot about that one up there. We know that that's gonna be 320. I'm gonna subtract 320 again. Zero minus zero is zero. Three minus two is one. I need to do some regrouping there. That becomes 11. 11 minus three is going to be um, 10, nine, eight, sorry about that. And then I'm left with 810. Keep going. 32 minus 10 again. I know that's 320. I wanna underline that 10, subtract my 320 out. Zero minus zero is zero. Gotta regroup there. 11 minus two is nine. Seven minus three is four. I'm left with 490. Multiply that divisor by 10 again. It's 320. Subtract 320 from 490. Zero minus zero is zero. Nine minus two is seven. Four minus three is one. And I'm left with 170. I'm gonna go ahead and say, well, I need 170. And 170 is close to half of 320. So I'm gonna multiply 32 by five. 32 times five, I'm gonna underline that five. And I'm gonna actually do the multiplication here. Five times two is 10. Five times three is 15 plus one is 16. So I know that's gonna be 160. I'm gonna subtract out 160. 170 minus 160 is 10. And now I'm left and I know this is a remainder. There's nothing I can multiply 32 by that um, is gonna equal 10 because 32 is too large. Now I'm gonna add all those numbers that I underline. 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, remainder 10 is my answer right now. I'm gonna go ahead and check my answer by multiplying 45 times 32. Two times five is 10. Two times four is eight plus one is 90. Placeholder, three times five is 15. Three times four is 12 plus one is 13. Now you're gonna add zero, nine plus five is 14. Three plus one is four and one plus nothing is one. It doesn't match, but don't panic because you gotta add in your remainder. There's the 10, which was the remainder. Zero plus zero is zero. Four plus one is five. Four plus nothing is four. One plus nothing is one. Smiley face because my check answer matches the dividend. So I'm gonna wrap it up and then we're gonna have some closing thoughts. I'll see you in just a second. Okay, so those are example problems. I hope that as we did those examples that you guys fell in love with partial quotients the way that I did the first time that I saw it done. So for your tips on tonight's homework, when you're looking at your divisor, just start by using your divisor and multiplying it by 10. Everybody loves 10s. 10s help you come up with easy mental math problems. And you're gonna keep multiplying that divisor by 10 and subtracting until you get to the point where multiplying by 10 gives you a product that's too large to work with the division problem. As always, when you finish dividing, make sure you check your answer by using what? By using the inverse operation of division, which is 
multiplication. So you're gonna use the inverse operation of division, which is multiplication, to check your answer. And if your answer to your check does not match your quotient, don't just leave it because something's wrong. Either you've done a division step wrong or you may have multiplied wrong when you were checking your final answer. So again, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Make sure that you use this strategy on your homework tonight and I will see everybody in the next video. Bye.